Oh. More? I'm free. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or... I will be. In time. My name is Shiala. I serve... I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Sounds like you Asari got in over your heads for once. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of its existence. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you're following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I meld it with the Thorian, our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What just happened? Are you okay? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little queasy. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. 
In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature, but now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it, but I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorian was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> uh, sorry about all your colonists. Uh, at least there are a few left. Start over. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed, thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. Hmm. 1,480 credits. That's pretty damn good, actually. I hope Exo didn't learn from this. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Okay, so it's everything I've already talked about. Farewell, about. Shiela. That's... Yeah. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Thank you. Uh, I still see that ex exclamation point. Oh, thanks again. That data will be I don't very think there's anything else I can do with you. Oh, 
Beholder. 21? Oh, God. I think everything else is going to tell me to leave here. done here. You beam me up, Scotty. No. Okay. Get me the hell out of here, Joker. How's that? Hmm. How does one actually get out of here? Oops. No, I've done enough killing for one day. Commander, you shouldn't shoot any more of the colonists. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. You're right. But it's... Yeah. Sorry. When I could think, I hope more of us would survive. Sorry. Uh... You okay, Commander? You look a little pale. It's that damn cipher. I was sorry messed you up good. And for what? We still don't know where to find the stupid conduit. What a waste. She said it could take a while. I needed the cipher. It's going to lead us to the conduit. I'm just not sure how yet. We still have another lead, Commander. That Asari scientist in the Artemis Tau cluster. The Matriarch's daughter. She's an expert on the Protheans. Maybe she knows something. Don't worry. We'll deal with her soon enough. Crew dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogenia should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Okay. And so that completes Pharaoh's. Um... From here, we're actually going to do some backtracking to the Citadel. I want to clear out uh, some of the Citadel quests I have. The Diplomat quest. I'm supposed to deliver that still. Uh, run around scan for the Keepers. And... No, that's it. The wife's body thing. Yeah. Go back and just try to complete those. Uh, so that'll be sort of an in-between video, but... This ends the Feralis series, so... Why do I keep calling it Feralis? Pharos. Too much wow. <laughs> uh, but yes, till next time, guys. Take care.